Hi everyone, Teddy Baldessar with teddybaldessar.com. In this video, we're looking at a brand new watch from Bulova with the Wilton GMT. And the special thing about this watch, this is probably actually is the most attainable true GMT mechanical watch that I know of on the market in 2022. So in this video and on this channel, we cover watches available for purchase on our website, teddybaldessar.com as a full authorized dealer. So in this video, deep dive on this timepiece, final points of consideration at the end, but also throughout this video, if you have any further questions, check out the link in the description to the product page, where you can also purchase the watch as well. But guys, let's jump into the video, take a closer look at this watch. So when you look at the year of 2022, one of the defining complications and types of watches that would probably be the best poster child of what the year had to offer would be the GMT. Look at every single segment of the industry. It seems that brands are starting to put more of a focus on offering new GMT watches out there. And Bulova with the recent release of the Wilton GMT is not to be forgotten. And why this one is so unique and different is because this is a true GMT or a traveler's GMT with isolated local hour function. And with the price segment of in the $800 to $900 range for these watches, you are looking at the most attainable true or traveler's GMT that you can currently have on the market, being powered by the Miyota 9075 on the inside. Miyota being a citizen group brand along with Bulova makes this a very intriguing new offering for the now very packed GMT landscape. So taking a look at the Wilton GMT on the wrist, the watch presents a larger wearing dimension set headlined by a 43 millimeter diameter paired with a relatively svelte 12.7 millimeter thickness, which is nice to see from a watch with a GMT caliber inside. Lug to lug is also under control for that case diameter coming in under 50 millimeters and making this somewhat larger watch wear much more wearable than you might think otherwise. A relatively slender and sloping bezel design allows a lot of real estate for the dial, but altogether this piece wears slightly smaller than its measurement suggests, more like a true 42 millimeter watch in my opinion, if not slightly smaller. Some enthusiasts might be disappointed that this exciting new caliber is coming in a watch that is going to be tougher to pull off for smaller wrists, but it's fair to assume smaller watches utilizing this caliber will be on their way given Miyota's incredible market share across the industry and seeing the open real estate around the movement on the case back. Set between 20 millimeter lugs, the Wilton GMT leans into an alligator scale pattern leather strap with a folding butterfly style clasp with a polished finish to match each case variant. The strap is perfectly fine, uh, but maybe not overwhelming in terms of its quality standard. It does have a slight padding to it, but will not require much break in in order to have it conform to the wrist well. Moving over to the case finishing, it's important to note that this case is available in either stainless steel or a PVD gold tone with the overall design elements being identical in either case. Compared to some less expensive Bulova models, the Wilton GMT is nicely finished with a circular brush case top, vertically brushed case sides, and a polished and recessed bevel running the length of the case in the curved lugs. At three, a 6.8 millimeter push-pull crown resets without the additional security provided by crown guards while offering the additional functionality provided by the true GMT calibers, but more on that later. Making our way up, a steeply sloping and highly polished bezel surrounds a very slightly domed sapphire crystal. And resting just beneath, we have a well-finished and refined dial display highlighting its multi-time zone functionality. And either a deep shade of blue or eye-catching white silver, the Wilton GMT dial offers a lot to like for fans of traditional watchmaking and dress watches in particular. At the perimeter, a chapter ring is steep, so it's almost difficult to read at some angles, acting as the home for a set of printed 24-hour markings. Just within, a printed and subdivided minute track rests just outside a set of applied and polished Roman numeral indices that are silver toned on the blue dial and gold toned on the white. At noon, the Roman numeral pattern is broken with a prominent bull of a tuning fork intended to act as the 12 o'clock index a nod to Bulova's history. Without a doubt, the most eye-catching feature of this watch, visually speaking, is the dial's primary surface, which features an embossed three-dimensional globe-like effect, complete with latitude and longitude lines. For the price point, this kind of effect, while likely achieved with the pressing process, is still nice to see and does help elevate the overall design. At three, a polished and faceted date window gives way to a simple black on white date disc. Polished and faceted dauphine style hands track the time of day at the center with a simple stick second hand and Aero GMT hand with a red tip intended to work the 24 hour track at the periphery. 
there are small slivers of loom on the local hour and minute hand. It is certainly going to do the job, but it's not terribly effective going beyond maybe what is expected. Dial text is straightforward with only a large blow of a signature at noon and GMT automatic and 24 joules at six, speaking to the new caliber within. Now turning the Wilton GMT over, we have a screw down exhibition case back that pairs with the aforementioned crown and securing this watch is acceptable, but uninspiring 30 meters of water resistance while also offering a view of this piece's single biggest move, the new Miyota 9075 caliber being introduced along with this watch. When most enthusiasts think of Miyota, the ubiquitous eight series calibers with their slower beat frequency of three hertz and sometimes larger accuracy range tend to be the ones that first come to mind. But here we have an elevated option from the brand that offers four hertz for the beat rate and smoother secondhand movement, as well as the introduction of that true GMT functionality. In the world of GMT calibers, there are essentially two types of movements, collar or office GMTs, and typically much more expensive true GMT calibers. I have a full video looking at everything you need to know about a GMT, which goes into more detail on that. But to briefly illustrate the idea, with an office GMT, moving the crown to the second position facilitates the isolated function of only the additional 24 hour hand, not your local hour hand, as is the case with a true GMT or traveler's GMT that we have here, which traditionally is more expensive given the added complexity in the caliber itself that allows fewer steps when changing time zones. Recent years, we have seen the introductions to more attainable true GMTs from the likes of Tudor, Longines, Mido, Seiko, just to name a few. But to this point, no one has been able to put a true GMT movement in a watch that retails under $1,000, making this Wilton GMT all the more impressive in that regard. Visually, the caliber is utilitarian in its finish, but does offer some nice Geneva striping across the circular central bridges. And if you look at the movement itself and where it's fixed within the case, it does seem like there is room for this one to come in a bit farther to have a smaller case. So maybe some encouraging signs for what is to come in the future. In terms of operation here, you're looking at 28,800 vibrations per hour, four hertz. It does feature hacking and hand winding, hacking stop in the second hand when you pull the crown to the farthest position, and a power reserve of 42 hours. In terms of accuracy on these two variants, we did test these. Uh, these are two sample models, so we didn't want to pull from live stock here just for the sake of handling them and not getting them scratched up. Uh, so for testing here, we're looking at plus four to plus six seconds a day with the blue dial, and then plus eight to plus nine seconds a day with the gold tone variant. So pretty solid accuracy, and these calibers are rated to minus 10 to plus 30 seconds a day, so right in that sweet spot. So now to unpack looking at this Bulova GMT, a few things to consider here, both on the negative and then also the positive side. Starting with some of the negative, I think the first thing that people are going to mention first is going to be the sizing. I think this is the number one thing that probably is going to be mentioned. 43 millimeters for a watch that doesn't have an external rotating bezel is going to make this one just appear from the dial standpoint, a little bit large. I would say in actuality, still around a 42 millimeter, but given the elegant format that this one is kind of leaning towards, I would say that 42 millimeters might be a bit large for many people out there. And then the other point I'll mention, 30 meters of water resistance does leave a bit to be desired. But then finally, now looking at why this watch is compelling and why it's interesting for a variety of reasons. One, there's the introduction of the new movement. This for the money is going to be the most attainable true GMT mechanical watch on the market. First one I've seen under $1,000 to have a true GMT movement. So great progressions we're seeing in the industry and to see a Citizen, Miyota, Bulova now partaking in that is wonderful. Another great thing about this is a four hertz movement, many other alternatives, three hertz in this price range. So that is great. And I think that's the number one thing going for this watch. If you are a lover of Bulova, you also want to try to get the best value true GMT, you like that additional functionality of having that isolated local hour function, this is right now, currently speaking in 2022 at the time of recording this video, the number one value that you're going to find. All right, well, thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon. That does help out the channel. Also, if you're in the market for this watch featured here, it is available on teddybaldister.com, full authorized dealer of 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the new products that we offer. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.